work with the future generation in the future. I do have a couple of handouts that will make it easier. Okay. okay. Please excuse any uh, beginner's jitters. Uh, thank you, first of all, for allowing us this audience on such short notice. Um, <clears throat> uh, sorry. We, uh, we've been tasked with renovating trellis, um, something that we've accepted wholeheartedly and we've, uh, we've taken this project as a challenge. Uh, we've considered Roosevelt Island the home to us, if not a haven, and um, due to this, we, uh, we've tried to produce something much more than a simple diner. Uh, <clears throat> as you will clearly see in the renderings, we, uh, we reached for the stars, we tried to do something unique and original. Um, we truly believe this exterior will be uh, beneficial, not just for the store, but the island as a whole. Uh, permission is granted to commence with this exterior. We will be instrumental in uh, energizing the residents, vitalizing retail on the island, promoting the island, uh, bolstering tourism and possibly real estate. Uh, we have had unfortunate continued deferments of the renovation of trellis for the past 12 months. Uh, we are truly hoping to come to a permanent solution that will allow construction phase of the renovation to commence. Uh, it is with this aspiration that I fervently desire and request your assistance. To my understanding, the sole issue that is preventing us from commencing the phase of construction is the exterior of the store has a gradual incline at its peak that extends approximately three feet from our property to the line over the sidewalk. Uh, firstly, I would like to specify that the three-foot extension is above and not over, uh, not on the sidewalk. Uh, it will be taking up unused airspace and not infrig uh, infringing or obstructing pedestrians' room to walk. Uh, for the sake of being precise, I would also like to point out that the footing of the exterior is indeed within the property lines of trellis. However, the, however, the facade itself is three-dimensional in design. To maintain the integrity of the design, the facade is inverted into the store at points and angles forward at other points. Uh, at its peak height, which is approximately 11, 11 foot 9 and a half inches, the store does protrude approximately 3 feet. Uh, in hope of explaining why we allow the design to be so brazen, it was our understanding that an av average awning or signage that a retail store normally displays is allowed to protrude three feet from its foundation as long as it's above 10 feet from the ground. Uh, our design complies completely with this regulation. Still, we require permission from the board to proceed. Uh, the design was created on the basis that in lieu of an average awning, we would craft something that would aspire the community. <coughs> Uh, and go hand in hand with uh, the goals of REAC and Hudson related. Um, due to the expense and time we, we have incurred in trying to promote this exterior, I'm sad to inform you that in the event that we are not granted the required waiver, we will, we will have no choice but to commence with the renovation of the store while keeping the existing storefront of Trellis. Although it will be restored in the process, I'm sure you can understand the lack of impact it would have as opposed to the renditions provided. Uh, we look forward to enhancing the experience of Roosevelt Island, providing another iconic component to its attractions. However, the ability to proceed rests in your hands. Um, thank you. Okay, uh so this, this modification keeps the uh, footprint within the existing yes. footprint? Yes, sir, it does. It stays within the existing footprint, uh, however, because it's on a gradual lean, uh, not, the, the store will not extrude three feet throughout the whole store, it's only at the peaks. Uh, I believe there's a total of seven of them all together going around the store. Okay, so pri primarily the peak uh, uh, to the west uh, and, the, and, the, and, the, uh, and the major peaks. Uh, well, I mean, here and here primarily. Uh, yes. Yeah. 
Yes, uh, that that picture is the back of the store. Is the side of the store? Uh, right. Right. The right. So, and so uh, maybe, maybe in the other view there'll be a third one. Uh, oh, here. Yeah. So this this is the, this is that. Picture. Yes. Okay. Now you you mentioned that you feel that the uh, use of air to extend the awning above the footprint of the store is uh, in following with uh, general city regulation. In accordance to, to what I believe the Department of Buildings requires, yes, sir. Okay. Have, have we had an opportunity to verify that? It's the first time it's come up. In okay. interest, we, we've not, the last conversation that I was aware of as the trellis was not solely for the heat, but for a side storage area. Okay. And that, that, that was an issue, and that was the last issue right now. Okay. This is the first time we've been presented. Okay. okay, so uh, when I... Uh, as far as I heard, through Hudson related, that, that had been remedied with, with this design. Okay. One of the, what Charlene is saying is that we had conversations a few months ago with another design where on the ground, because you're going outside of your footprint, and encroaching onto encroaching onto Riyadh property. Yes, but and it's not. I understand, but what just just to clarify to you, what you're saying is you've spoken to Hudson related, and, and they've told you this overhang of three feet would remedy that problem. But what Charlene and I are saying is this is the first time that we've heard. Okay, that's all we can say. So when our address, do we know? We'd have to look into. Okay, so know, we, we so we need to examine the plans to see Absolutely. if they fall within the footprint. Uh, I'll ask the uh, other committee members for opinion, but. I feel that if this is falling within the footprint, if the use of air rights is in accordance with general city practice, I, I, I have no problem with this. I think if it can be analogized to an awning in that way that it's required, then, then obviously it's But we would need an opportunity to look at it. Okay. The, 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 the difference, if I may, this red line I drew in, they've set back a segment of the, uh, of, of the footprint from where it stood, and maybe some of this is set back too, I'm not sure. Right, yeah, and that's, that's, that's what uh, we have to do with them here, and just check it and report back, and maybe if it's <coughs> in generally such as practices, if it, it, it just requires a waiver or an awning type of thing, then that would be fine, but we just have to check. Okay. Did Hudson and Lady tell you that home was that it's Yes, as, 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 far, as, as far as the last conversation I had with them, the, the only issue that's persistent now is that we require a waiver through REAC, uh, for, for the peaks themselves because they infringe over your property. Okay, but this new design, everybody's okay yes, with? Yes, yes, everyone, this, this is done back and forth three times, everyone. So, so you have buy-in from us in related, you have buy-in from uh, Ash House? Uh, uh, yes. And then, of course, it's the board if they, if they want to weigh in on the design. And now it's infringing on our property, so we have to weigh in. I'm sort of curious. I mean, I, I assume this was done by an architect, right? Was, was there a reason for this particular, it's almost like a spaceship design? <laughs> You know, uh, next to a historic building that's very old. I was sort of curious. It, it, about it was that. it was actually my design that the uh, the architect I sort of gave to the architect and he ran with it. Uh huh. Uh, I just um, as as far as I was concerned, uh, I was I was trying to create something iconic, an attraction, another attraction on the island. Uh -huh. uh, I mean, uh, talking about branding, when you, when you think of uh, Apple's Fifth Avenue, I mean, when you think of Apple, you think of Fifth Avenue because of because of the facade they have, and in and, and doing the research to, to renovate the restaurant, I did a lot of research uh, checking facades of, of commercial establishment, establishments in general, and they, they, all, they all have a very bland facade. Everything, everything is, is very, very structured, and I, I wanted to go, on, I wanted to oppose that. I wanted to try and do something new. So it's, it wasn't done in terms of, you know, being next to Good Shepherd and, you know, uh, it, was, it was just about creating something unique. So are the, you know, I can see that there's a lot of glass here, uh, but there's also roof, I guess there's roof as well as all the glass, but there's a fair amount of glass here, right? Yes, ma'am. I mean, it certainly is unique. Thank you. I mean, I've never <laughs> seen a coffee shop that was... Uh, actually, there are coffee shops. 
Seriously, I immediately flashed on. It was um when 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 Hudson Related first came and uh, they they said they were taking over retail. I, I mean, it was they, they made they made it very clear that uh, they they wanted a vibrant Main Street uh, and they wanted to wow, you know, they wanted to wow the the, the residents. And uh, I I sort of took that as a personal challenge as as to be the one to accomplish that. Okay, great. What about signage? You gonna have that nice big green trellis? Um, <laughs> most likely no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. But that's that's as well, that, was yeah, that, that was was granted. Yeah, that was granted. I'll that. That's my logo. That's so, right. yeah, yeah. Somewhere along the line, the circle that. Yeah. 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 So it will be you somewhere. I'm not sure where. <laughs> well, you gotta have some way of identifying your, your business partner. Right. So I'm just wondering what that's going to be. Um, we don't have the uh, signage. <laughs> it's like a call to the end. And we have a come from this side. <laughs> but that big, on the angle in the corner, I'm right? facing that. It's your logo sign. And I, I'm not sure if we'll be able to hang it in the same exact place. But. Every Thursday? We have to. Every Thursday? Every Thursday? Oh, yeah, what's it going to do to that the patio with all the plants above it? Well, it, it doesn't have to do with the ceiling. With the ceiling, and the roof has nothing yeah. to do with the. Uh, <coughs> This is the same. This yeah. is like the same roof kind of location as with before. Yeah. Hey, uh, I'd like, like to move the agenda along. It seems like we're in general agreement that if this renovation falls within the existing footprint, if the uh, use of air rights is in accordance with general city practice and doesn't otherwise infringe on, uh, on us, uh, that we would be. Uh, in favor of this, that we said it's something to committee. I just have a question about the points. Um, and it's just come up because of the apartments above. The points do not go above the patio? Uh, the I, I, I believe I believe it doesn't. I, because I can, if I had that apartment, you know, I, you don't want to change your view. Absolutely. <laughs> I, uh, at, 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 its, at its peak height, we said it's, it's 11, 11 foot, 9 and a half inches, and uh, I believe where it currently stops now is about 9 feet. So another 2 feet from that, I, I don't think we even start to reach their patio. Or maybe or maybe we'll just be flush with, with their floor, but it well, definitely will not. Making it to the floor, I think we're okay. <laughs> At least I'm okay with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, 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 the party was standing for objection, and that would be uh, Dave Kershaw. So, uh, and he's okay with it. And he's okay with it. So, yeah. you know. Uh, so, we'll ask that you and Santo uh, work together to make sure that we have drawings so we can form the basis of the judgments about this. Uh, I think, uh, How long do you think that's going to take? It sounds like this is the last piece of the puzzle, and then you guys can get started. Um, it was, uh, okay. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so much. We'll analyze the drawings compared against, uh, yeah, the drawings against. Yeah, the drawings against. Yeah. Air rights, and we can talk to Hudson as well. Oh, thanks. <clears throat> okay, great. So, Hudson, thank you. 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 Thank you.